take a decimal number 238 and we have to find out the octal equivalent. To find out, we have to divide this number by 8. The question will be 29 and the remainder will be 6. 29 divided by 8, it is 3. Remainder will be 5. Now the question is less than 8, so we have to stop here. Now we have to see in this direction. It is 3, 5, 6. So this is the octal equivalent of 238. It is 356. Now we will see another example. 5, 6, 9, 8. Now we have to divide this number by 8. The question will be 7, 1, 2 and the remainder will be 2. Again we have to divide this number by 8. The question will be 89 and the remainder is 0. Again we have to divide the question is 11 and the remainder is 1. Again we have to divide this by 8. The question is 1 and the remainder is 3. Now this 1 is less than 8. So we have to stop here and we have to see from bottom to top. Octal equivalent of this decimal number will be 1, 3, 1, 0, 2. For example, we are taking 0 0.974. Now to find out its octal equivalent we have to multiply this number by 8 so 0 0.974 multiplied by 8 it is 7.792 now ignoring the integer part we will take 0 0.792 so 0 0.792 multiplied by 8 it is 6.336 now again ignoring the integer part we will take 0.336 so 0.336 multiply by 8 2.688 0 0.688 again multiply by 8 it is 5.504 0 0.504 multiply by 8 it is equal to 4. 0, 3, 2. You can do it more but 5 step is enough for us. Now see the integer part. This. We will see this from top to bottom. So it is 7, 6, 2, 5 and 4. 0.974 is equivalent to 0.76254 in octal number system. So this is how we have to find out the integer part and the fractional part. Thanks for watching.